Okay, I said I was gonna do this video about nine months ago, and now here it is. What's your favorite... What's your least favorite controller? I don't know, I don't think there's any controller that I can recall actively disliking. I remember the PS3 controller didn't fit quite right in my hands, but that may have also been because I was like... 12 when I was holding it. I wanted to hate the PS4 controller because of the big rectangular demon in the middle. Like, nobody uses this thing. But in practice, I actually don't really mind it. Do you like frogs? Specifically, White's Tree Frog. Seems like a nice frog to me. What is your setup for recording audio? I use an ATR 2500 USB microphone with some noise suppression, some compression. My general advice is that if you have a decent microphone, then you probably don't need to do too much to it, you just gotta set it up correctly. Gibt es ein bestimmtes Videospiel, auf das Sie sich freuen? Und aus welchem Grund? My obvious answer is Elden Ring, but I'll also throw in City of Beats. I played the demo a while back, and I want more of the game, so that's a good sign. If you could live inside the game world of a specific title, what would it be and why? Nintendogs. Plus cats. How do you feel the Discord is going? Uh, I don't know. I don't really have any barometer or metric, really, for the Discord, because I didn't really make it for me, so I don't have any particular goals for it. I don't think I've had to ban anyone yet, so that's good. Where would you like to see yourself in five years? Atop a, a Mount Everest of money. A K2 of cash. Mount Skrillimanjaro. The, the him... The him... 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 money... him... 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 money layers. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what I'm gonna eat for dinner tonight, much less what position I'll be in five years. Uh, better internet would be nice. Do you fart? What, are you a cop? What, in your opinion, is your best video? Usually my best video is the one that was most annoying to make, so... The damage problem? Maybe? What systematic problems have you faced as a white man named Tyrone? Yeah, I have a lot of grade school memories of going to my friends' houses for the first time and their parents going, Oh, you're... you're Tyrone. Oh. Funny story, in middle school I was actually friends with this six-foot-tall black kid from my apartment complex, and his name was Kyle. Kyle and Tyrone. Shout out to Kyle. <laughs> when did you start playing the Fallout games and what inspired you to make videos about them? My first Fallout game was New Vegas, which I played back on the 360 sometime around, I don't know, 2013 or so. To be honest, I'll make a video about any game when I have something that I think is worth saying about it, or just an interesting video to make. But I think what attracts me to New Vegas in particular is that it always kind of has another question that I want to find the answers to. Can I please get a hell yeah, brother? Hell yeah, brother. Did you have any YouTubers that influenced your content early on? Definitely. At some point in my early teenage years, I entirely abandoned TV and movies in favor of YouTube. Which particular influences come out in my videos usually kind of depend on the video. I think a big comedic influence for me was the original Respawn Inbox trio of Sark and Hutch and C Nanners. Some of my editing can be kind of inspired from like Soviet Womble or Demolition D sometimes. Like I said, it, it depends on what I'm doing. How's Bear doing? He's chilling. How have you been during the pandemic? There are a few people kind of around me that I worry about, but personally I've been doing fine. I've always been kind of a recluse anyway, and I know a lot of people say that, but two years in they kind of lose their minds, but I've actually been holding it down pretty well, I think. It would be cool if we could keep a bit of the mask wearing habit around for like flu seasons or in cramped places where lots of people go in public, like buses or subways and stuff, but I guess the US has never really been great at public health or public transit, public safety, public anything, really. <laughs> How would you describe your content to someone who's never seen a video of yours? I guess I would subdivide it into two categories, roughly speaking, maybe three. I have my more editorial stuff, I have the Twitch compilation stuff, and then I just kind of have the random ideas that pop into my head that I just feel like have to be shoved out into the ether of the internet. Sometimes I think about splitting this stuff up into like multiple channels, maybe just moving all of my Twitch stuff over to the Beep Emporium channel, I don't know. 
Food for thought. Let me know what you think. Favorite normie guilty pleasure media. I don't really feel guilty about it, but I always keep the first three seasons of Spongebob around. Besides making videos and music, do you have any other creative outlets? Uh... I guess I write. And sometimes I make, like, the the cover art. Does, does that count? I, I do so much shit. It's, it's such a pain in the ass. Regardless of medium, who would you consider to be an underrated artist? Any medium. That's a lot of choices. I think I'll pick Thinin. He's an ambient musician from the UK. He has an album from 2020 called uh, Hikikomori, which is really, really good. Just a really solid front-to-back, no-filler, all-killer ambient music. <laughs> it's kind of a weird phrase to use for ambient music now that I think about it, but it's, re it's really good. B-movie game now? You know, when I originally got this question in, like, February of 2021, I had, like... 20 subs on Twitch, and I set the B-movie game goal for 100 subs, and now I have a I have 110 right now, so I have to play the B-movie game. I don't know why I agreed to that. <laughs> Opinions on film adaptations of video games. Will they ever be viable? Commercially viable? I mean, yeah, probably. I think the MCU has kind of proven that you can take adaptations from more niche genres of stuff, like comic books and games. But the narrative structure in games is really different, so I would be really wary of any, like, one-to-one -one adaptations. I thought about making a video about this kind of thing, and actually I, I kind of... I kind of am making, writing a video about this kind of thing, but it's, it's only sort of tangentially related, but... I'll get to that when I get to it. <laughs> what country are you interested in traveling to that you haven't visited yet? I've actually never left California, so I could probably look around a few of the states before I go out of the country, maybe... Well... But actually, if I had an unlimited budget, I'd probably just pick somewhere like Macau or something. Gambling and corruption usually come with some pretty nice amenities. Do you have a favorite comedian, and if so, who? There was a time when I would have told you Dave Chappelle is the best comic alive. Sadly, it seems that time has come and gone, but... Goddamn, he was good. He was. Do you have any tattoos? If not, what would you get a tattoo of? Uh, I don't have any tattoos. And if I did get a tattoo, I would get a tattoo of something incredibly obscure that would never be a problem, like the GTVA logo from Free Space 2. Yeah. Yeah, that's my choice. Well, anyway, the ending. I kind of don't really know what I'm doing here, so... Uh, suggestions, welcome. I kind of feel obligated to get retrospective, because it's the end of the year, and it's been an interesting year. But honestly, I prefer not to get too meta with that kind of thing. I just kind of want to... Just go, you know? Just do. Just do the thing. And so I'm gonna go do the thing some more, and, uh, hopefully some of you will like the things that I do. And hopefully you've enjoyed your year. I'm gonna go catch up on some sleep.